Hi, first graders. If you have your anthology, go ahead and follow along as we read our story, Amazing Animals by Gwendolyn Hooks. The genre or type of story is informational text. Informational text gives facts. So as we read, we want to look for information and facts in the words and photos that show real animals. I see three photos of real animals right here on the cover. Let's meet our author, Gwendolyn Hooks. Gwendolyn Hooks wrote this story because she loves animals. This story is about wild animals, she explains. I don't own any wild animals, but I do have a pet cat. <laughs> As we read, let's think about our question, why do some animals have spots or stripes? Remember, when you hear this, it's time to turn the page. Big eyes, long beak, thick fur, big squeak. Animals get a lot of help as they grow up. Let's find out about eight amazing animals. Polar bear. A polar bear has thick fur. Each hair is like a tube. The hair has no color like glass. The sun makes it look white. How does thick white fur help? Thick fur helps polar bears stay warm. The color of their fur looks the same as snow. This helps them hide. Where does this cute young polar bear like to hide? Elephant. An elephant has a long nose. The nose is called a trunk. It takes many years for an elephant to grow two big teeth. These teeth are called tusks. How do tusks and a trunk help? Elephants use their tusks to scrape bark off trees. Then they eat the bark. These elephants are learning to use their trunks to get water. Sometimes they will spray water at a friend. Camel. Some camels have one hump. Some have two. All camels have two rows of eyelashes. How do humps and thick eyelashes help? A camel's hump has fat inside. On long trips, a camel's body uses the fat for food. A camel's eyelashes keep out the desert sand. This baby camel will follow his mother when the herd goes from place to place. Duck. A duck is a bird. It has two feet and each foot has three toes. A duck has a beak too. How do feet and a beak help? Ducks use their feet to swim in the water or walk on land. They use their beaks to eat plants and bugs. Look, this duck uses her beak to clean her friend. Giraffe. A giraffe has spots. A giraffe has a long neck. How do spots and a long neck help? A giraffe's spots help it hide. A giraffe's long neck helps it reach the leaves of trees. This giraffe's long neck helps her reach her baby. She gives him a big kiss. Porcupine. A porcupine has soft quills when it is born. The quills get sharp in a day or two. How do quills help? Quills help keep a porcupine safe. If an animal begins to come too close, the porcupine backs into it. The sharp quills hurt. Quills tell this cub to stay away. Turtle. A turtle has a shell that is very hard. How does a hard shell help? A turtle can hide inside its shell from an animal that may hurt it. 
The turtle waits until the animal goes away. Then the turtle comes back out. You're safe now, turtle. Dolphin. A dolphin's tail has two parts called flukes. A dolphin has two flippers. How do tail flukes and flippers help? A dolphin flips its tail flukes up and down to swim fast. It uses its flippers to turn to the left or right. These two dolphins swim away fast. Who will be first? Have fun, dolphins! I hope you enjoyed learning about all these different wild animals. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to smile, and I'll see you soon. Bye.